Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to welcome that very popular young star, Black Belt Chris Adams. And in the blue collar on my right, his opponent, the British Heavy Middleweight Champion, Well, it's rather nice to get back to inside one match and hear one so think just a little bit. The catchweight contest which follows now, the last bout of the afternoon's programme, a catchweight bout between Mark Rocco, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, and the boy on the right there, Chris Adams of Warwick. Black belt Adams. Six five-minute rounds, two falls to decide. Now then, identification Rocco, of course, with his name right on his front, the white or the light yellow with stars, the yellow stripe with stars uh, are all the way down his side, so I don't think we can uh, have much trouble distinguishing these two. Two falls to the side, this one. Adams with a bandaged left elbow. But he never said anything about that in the dressing room to me, so I think it's purely protective. Some little old injury is a bit uh, frightened of recurring. Of course, when we can see Chris Adams from the front, he's pretty identifiable too. With his name on both knees, Chris on one knee, Adams on the other. Chris Adams at 12 stone 5, giving away uh, 13 pounds to One. Mark Rock. One a middleweight, the other a heavy middleweight. And the champion of that bracket, of course. One of his favorites, especially with the attacks of Maria. Switches and onto the body check. Yeah. He's trying the Rocco, typical Rocco weakness, all right, right from round one. So far, Rocco, nothing but weakening, not following up anything to try for a pinfall yet. Nicely, oh, he tripped him, but he more or less fell back in. That's a better, better one. And complaints from Rocco already. Watch the kicks in the throat in case you couldn't lip read that. The rocker would be the first to get in the throat if he can do it. Paul Nelson switching it very quickly into a head mayor. Chris Adams over the top for a shoulder press nicely. Never hold him down from there. 
And the eyes. Ooh, yeah, yeah, those fingers look very near the eyes there. Chris Adams looking up the ref as if to say, did you see that one, ref? Seconds only now in this first round. And the screams for come on, Chris, coming from all sides of the world. Three seconds to go. And Rocco still complaining. Mark Rocco, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain. 13 stone four from Manchester. Turned pro February 1970 and trained, of course, by the well-known heavyweight Jim Hussey, who is his father, and runs a pub just outside Manchester. He's wanted this title for a long time, and he's going to hold it if he can. Round two, five to go. No score. Will Rocco continue with his weakness, or will Chris Adams come back with a surprise, speedy attack from the line side which he does so effectively and take Rocco unawares. Nice, nice work. Nice work. And Rocco didn't go with it fast enough at all. Bit angry about that. All right, where did that come down? On the forehead, I think. Both hands. as that was supposed to. That's the sort of Chris Adams unawares move that I was talking about. And that another one, the mule kick. The barefoot wrestler coming back into this a bit now. The crowd going mad for him to do more. and the feet, Chris Adams' feet, miles through the ball. <laughs> Throw for the backhand of the follow-up. Red scissors there. Oh, he's... Very quick on that. Took Rocco quite by surprise there, but I still think he's going to get out of the ball. Nicely up. Nicely up. Adam is a one footed drop kick. Very neat indeed. He kept your left foot on the floor and went with his right foot only and trying it again. But this time, Rocco stepping back out of the way, out of range. Posting to Rocco. Often takes those himself, trying the crutch hold and slam up top rope. allowed up. Public warning for that, Rocco. Yes, 
Oh, yes, the inside of the hand. Beauty right in the throat. And Chris Evans going in for the kill now. Can he get it? Beauty, double hand in the stomach. And Rocco just doesn't know where it's coming from now. Chris Adams so quick. Slowed right down, Rocco going to his corner, doesn't want to know anymore. Just one minute to go. Can Chris Adams go in and get him now? Still complaining about the feet on the throat, but all the hands this time on the throat. He won't come back in. Thirty seconds Chris Evans has got now, but I'm afraid that Rocco's got his breath back a little bit now after all that complaining. Even a torn ankle, Tony M to a figure four. May not help Chris Adams with the time he's got left. Fifteen seconds. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Too late. Too late, I'm afraid, for Chris Adams in this round two. So no score but one perfect corner against Rocco. And Chris Adams, we follow back to his corner. Chris Adams from Warwick. 12 stone five of him, gaining away 13 pounds. Just under a stone here. A black belt third down, this boy. He's been 14 years at judo. He started at the age of nine. So he really knows something about this uh, martial arts and general self-defense. Round three, four rounds to go. No score, one public warning against Mark Rocco. And two falls to the side of the box. Now Rocco coming back to the weakness now. Use of the hair. Quite illegitimate move by Chris Adams, but allowed for retaliation by the referee. Oh, look at it. Rocco's in trouble now. Right over the middle rope. One leg each side of the middle rope, and he was coming quite a speed. Crutch hold to Rocco. Slam. Doesn't follow up. Climb, but uh, Chris Adams right there nicely gets the real kick in again, again to the throat. That leg grab just in time by Rocco, get himself out of trouble. <laughs> Moving his head away from that bottom rope, just as he thinks he's getting a counter move going. Caught his man on the way. And the back elbow to the throat. The part of the body that Rocco was beefing about being attacked so much. Oh! Chris Adams really is one of the most improved fellows in, in the uh, wrestling game. Really tremendously improved since we first saw him in July of last year. Less than a year ago, the first Tottenham's televised appearance, and he has improved beyond measure. 
taking on a weight above him here and doing very well. Again, the hair pull, Rocco, the punch to the face. Max Ward, the referee, a little suspicious of that one, but he couldn't have seen it. Gliding forearm by Rocco, and he coming off the top rope, one of his favorite moves, taking his man back this time. And more back weakness now coming from Rocco. Reverse double knee hold, easy one, easy one if he can hold it. He was allowed into that move by Chris Adams, but he's not going to be allowed to hold it for three, I don't think. Cross press trying now, Rocco. Less than a minute. Trying to bridge out of trouble. Thirty-five seconds now. Adams really slowed for the moment for all these blows. He's taking that's the front of the hand and quite work for him. Stopped him though. Oh yes, the little first posting. Adams turned him over on the way, right on the bell of round three. getting the worst at the end of that particular round, but at the beginning it was all his. He was really weakening his opponent very leniently and mostly legally. But at the end, he didn't like it at all, and he came right back. Round four, three rounds to go, and still no score. Rocco versus... Chris Adams and Rocco inadvertently, or was it, dropping water out of his bottle on the canvas in that corner on the left there of your screens. And what's the betting he tries to use that now? The second try to mop it up with his towel, but uh, it could cause some trouble later. So just one public warning against Mark Rocco in the gear with the stars down the side, and his name across the front of his chest. face now, thinks he's out of trouble for the moment. And knowing Adams, he comes back really superbly sometimes, he's so often. And a pal drive, through the knees, reverse double knee, and that might have him. It's got him, the first one to rock out, round four. And it just took him one minute, 52 seconds to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, round four, and the first fall of the contest to Rocco Rocco. So Rocco gets the first fall. It's under two minutes of that fourth round, but there are two rounds to go, and everybody here thinking that Chris Adams, though, looks a little bit troubled at the moment, being taken back to his corner. But he's got two rounds to come back in. Let's see if he can do it. He doesn't look a bit ready for round five, but he's got to go, I'm afraid. 
He wants more, wanted more breather then. The right ear seems to be the trouble. They're just behind it. Incidentally, Mark Rocco will also be on Extravaganza 79 from Wembley Arena on June 27th. And also, of course, the welterweight final for the third time. But with no rounds, the first four decides the up. So it should be quite an exciting evening at Wembley Arena. But of course, remember, Grapple fans on World of Sport will be able to see all of it, all of the important bouts anyway, on World of Sport next month sometime. Stopped him cold. Can he follow it up this time? He is following it. Now he's following him all over the place. Keep up that, and he's got a little equalizer with a lot. And he's going to get out. But he's getting counted. We better get in before the count of ten. And over the top for the sort of side suplex of beauty. Yes, it came off. Now it's Chris Adams going up on the top rope. Waiting for the punch. Cross press result. The equalizer in round five. One minute, 32 seconds into round five. Excellent cross press equalizer to Adams. MC John Harris to announce it if he can get it out with this noise. And again, Mark Rocco complaining to the referee, to the MC, to everybody. But round six coming up, one fall each. And as one public warning still to Rocco, one fall each the score. Rocco still complaining to the referee about a punch on the bridge of his nose, I think. And the referee just says, get on with it and stop using the hand. So hope for Chris Adams now, and the crowd here willing him to come in again with more of that all-action attack. Pretty neat posting, doesn't it? And so does Chris Adams. And follows it up too. Can he get his man over the top? There it is, the backdrop. Beautiful monkey climb. Follow it up, Chris. He's trying, but this time, ooh, walked right into a forearm jab. Nice backdrop again by Adams, following up the cross press, but walked those feet through the ropes. Nearest Chris Adams has been. by the Adams feet, taking him over and a moving cross by another blue kick to Adams, winding his arms in the top two ropes, and now the charge across the ring, but Rocco waiting for him and off goes Adams, and lands in a lady's lap in the front row ringside but I think he's hurt, I think he's hurt he is hurt, as the weight, I think probably legs anyway, we we'll probably know in a minute but I'm afraid that's it looks very much like a knockout win for Mark Rocco, but the referee is talking to John Harris, the MC. So let's see what John Harris has to say about the result of that bout. Now, ladies and gentlemen, by stopping the count, the referee automatically has stopped the contest in favour of Rocco. Rocco. Yes, Rocco gets the knockout, failing to beat the count. I'll play my back to somebody getting back, and I'll leave a yellow card 